Now, is the map data stored locally on? Virtually the all of the information you're seeing is stored locally, um, and then we update it through a wireless LAN that's installed in the fire stations. So all the trucks parked in the station, they get new street files, new premise files, and everything. And that's all done automatically without any fire right. intervention. That's one of the things we have run in the background that they don't have to concern themselves with. I mean, there's always some people who want to know exactly what's going on so we can teach them how to go find out what's going on, but kind of designed to keep that seamless and, mm -hmm. um, away from them. Uh, some of the other applications that run on here, I mentioned they're kind of in the background and the users don't really uh, see them. There's a, uh, we call it a black box, just because we're not very imaginative, but there's a program that is monitoring the modem for signal strength, the channel it's on, the quality of the signal, uh, error rates, that kind of information. And it's logging that to a shape file. So if a company experiences problems sending data, receiving data, they can call us up and say, we were on a call Thursday and we didn't get the dispatch, or when we pushed it around, we didn't go through. Uh, through that same wireless LAN in the fire station, we can pull those log files off of the computers and then plot maps. Like this, basically, that shows where they've been, where they've had problems. The red dots indicate transmission failures. So we can kind of identify where we have coverage problems. Uh, there's also you know, one thing about the wireless LAN and transferring files, um, you can't overwrite a file that's in use. So the program that's running the CAD client and the mapping application, you can't overwrite those files while they're running. So we download those files to a staging directory on the PC. And then Every time the unit changes status, there's a program called File Watcher. And the CAD client sends the status of the unit to that application. It'll wait until the unit goes available in quarters, and then it waits 15 minutes. And if there's new files that need to get loaded, it'll pop up a little box that says, I'm going to load new files unless you push cancel, and then it's 15 seconds. They're in the station, so they're not going to do that. But they could cancel it if they wanted to. But then it'll kill off the applications that need to reload, copy the files from the staging directory into the production directory, and restart the application automatically. So the next time they come out to the truck, they'll have a new version of the software.